Hello, and welcome back. Today, we're going to remix the bedpools that I spoke of in one of my previous videos. These are good as they are. Um, I, like I said in the original video, I just wanted something a little bit longer, and also I wanted to make it a little more unique. So follow along, and hopefully you learn something about remixing parts from Thingiverse. So I've got the part open in Tinkercad, and the first thing we're going to do is grab a box, pull it down a little bit. Now I want to bring it up to level just with those nubs there, and then I want to come to the end of these so I know to stop. These kind of butt up against the release levers, or whatever you want to call them, for the glass plate. So we're going to go ahead and group those. Now this line that it left, it's not going to transfer over to the print, but it does help me to know where I shouldn't go beyond, so I'm not having a fitment issue. So we're going to grab a box, bring it down, I believe this is about 4 millimeters. Yep. We're going to go ahead and match the width at 30 millimeters. Okay. And then I still want that curve on the end there, like the original pool has. So we're going to turn the radius up a little bit. But what happens when you turn the radius up is you get curvature on the bottom. Well, on the bottom and the top. So the way to get rid of that is to grab another box, come down about a quarter of the way into the radius box, Bring that back up to four. Now you see we still have the curves on the end, but it's flat on the bottom. However, it's still curved at the top. So pretty much we have to do the same thing. Grab another box. Pull it about a quarter of the way. And group them. And there we go flat on both sides, but we still have the corners curved. Now we'll pull that over. I think that's about long enough. We'll go ahead and align it to make sure that it's centered. And it looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and group that. Now you see these lines here. Like I said before, they're not going to show up in the actual print. We'll see. You'll see that it won't even show up in Cura. Anyway, I want to add a unique design here. So the way we're going to do that is with this. This is a very well designed lookalike for an Ender 3 that makes the hot end look like the CR6. Now, I don't need all of this at all, but I do want the emblem here. So what we're going to do is grab a box, size it about right, bring it in just a little bit, turn this into a hole, and as you can see I brought it just a little bit too far. Back it up some. And that looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and group that. Now we have the emblem embossed. Resize that a little bit, pull it over here, then we'll take another box and just get rid of the excess, and there we go. We have the emblem. We'll go ahead and pull this down and size it to fit. Turn it around, I want it right side up. Pull it into the box just so I know that it's sticking. There's no gap between the two. All right, that looks pretty good. We're going to go ahead and group it. And there we go. Now let's export it and jump over into Cura. Okay, so we have it in Cura, and as you can see, 
the lines that I was talking about didn't transfer over. This is going to print exactly the way I pictured it. So we're going to go ahead and do a print sequence and get two of them on this bed so that we can get them done, you know, around the same time. We won't have to come and print one, pull it, print the other. And yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to leave you with the installation of these. Just note that you will need to replace the screws. I'll leave a link to a set of screws that I bought off Amazon. They're really cheap and you get a whole bunch for the price. Just keep that in mind. You're going to need longer screws if you want to use these bed poles. I'll leave you with the installation, and as always, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you have the best day ever. So I've got it open in Thingiverse, or so I've got it open in, so I've got the part in Tinkercad, so I've got the part open in Tinkercad.